Hi everybody, this is Angel Wolf Black of the band She Wolf, and you're watching Cover Wednesday with Amber and Therese. Enjoy! Hey everyone, my name's Amber. I'm Therese. And we're back in the reaction video. Today we're doing Gojira a Sera. I think that's yep. what I said at least. <laughs> yeah, and it's Cover Wednesday. Yep. Uh, as a lot of people know, that this is from the Olympics. Uh, first metal band to ever perform at the Olympics, so that's pretty badass. Oh, that's awesome. I've been leery about uh, getting uh, checking out Kojira because I was afraid that they're going to be like super extreme, you know, because their font is more extreme looking, or they'd be more scraggly. So they still have some extreme vocals. We don't. I don't know anything about the band. So. I don't know either, really, so... So technically they could, but I'm sure it's still, we'll still enjoy I'm sure it. At least probably. this song is going to be mostly clean for, you know, a general audience. I mean, probably, but like I said, I didn't watch a lot of the openings. I watched some of the opening ceremony, but I like watch near the it. end. But I didn't watch the beginning. I watched like parts of closer to the end because I had other stuff going on that day, but. Anyway. Wait, let's get into this. Yep. Pause here. I'm very happy, obviously, in um, that uh, I think that was the Marie Antoinette with the headless. Yeah. Um, there's obviously lyrics to this that I can't hear because the way they have him balanced is way bad. Like the worst I think I've heard. I can see him singing, and I hear a yeah. little bit here and there, like, but nothing I can make out. I mean, I know it's in French, but even like still, like I hear like vocals of some sort, but like not even enough to like make out like syllables in the words or anything. Yeah, he does definitely sound more extreme, though. He does, but the music is freaking badass, and all that pyro is pretty cool too. Oh yeah, like the music's really good. Um, because even though he is more extreme, it would be nice to like be able to like hear him more, even if it's a different. Obviously, if it's French, but like I, but you're right. Like you can't even really make out like what he's saying. Yeah, um, that's definitely the biggest issue. Is like the music itself is amazing, and like the the you know show that they're putting on is amazing. First, made metal band to like do any major sporting event that I can think know of. Yeah, I mean, that's awesome um, to be the first metal band uh, performing in the Olympics. Um, but yeah, like, I like the music, and you know, I'm not as into the extreme vocals, but I would still, like I already mentioned, it'd be nice to be able to hear him better, just in general. But yeah, I know I mean, there this are... Is but... Oh, I was just saying, but in, but like in the music and everything is really good, so you know it is what it is. Yeah, I know the lyrics aren't for an older song like this that aren't super in depth or anything, but still, it'd be nice to hear it a little bit better. Yeah, I agree. Like you know, even if to hear the French, even if you can't understand what he's saying in French, it'd just be good to be able to hear it like it better. Yeah. Let's finish this off. Yeah, let's continue. All right. I like that opera singer with them. Um... Yeah, I wonder if that's gonna like get anybody to start like googling like opera metal or something like that to help boost like symphonic. Because that's yep. essentially what the first people, most people's first introduction to an operatic metal. Yeah, because I was going to say that uh, when she came in and, like, they had, like, it kind of sounded like a little bit of, like, more backing vocals, too, in the mix. I like that because then it did really give it more of a symphonic feel, too. Yeah, she was easier to hear than he was, but she was still a little harder to hear. But no, that... you know, it's not a concert, per se. It's just, you know. Yeah, a concert it is still a performance though i mean because like they had like the pyrotechnics and then they had her coming in on a boat it looked like and then you know like so it definitely still was a performance like yeah but um, it, and also the location was kind of hard i'm sure it was you know just put out in like outside instead of like so mixing in that would be hard to get all that vocals properly but i, I mean it's definitely harder yeah, so 
This was pretty good. Um, definitely interested in Gogeta for at least their music. I'm afraid that, you know, their vocals are probably going to be extreme like I fear, but if anyone has any, they're not so extreme. Yeah. Did in the second half, you could hear him a little better. It sounded like, yeah, he was extreme, but it sounded like there were a couple areas where he was, I'll say, more clean. Like, yeah, he still had the grit in there, but, like, he definitely could do something that's, like, not super extreme if he chose. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I enjoyed this, uh, obviously, about the French Revolution, which is amazing. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um that's very cool. An interesting but fact yeah. about that is that uh, wealth inequality in the United States is greater than it was back then, right at the time of the French Revolution. Oh, wow. So, okay. you know, the regular people had more comparatively to what the rich had than people do nowadays, in the States at least. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's... That's pretty sad. That is sad. Anyway, what were you going to say? <laughs> I was just gonna say, you know, um, like overall, this was still really good. Like they have really good uh, music. Like I really enjoyed the music, and I and like in the second half, you could hear him a little bit better. I mean, yeah, we I still couldn't like get a lot of what he was saying, obviously, but at least you could hear his voice clearer. I'll say. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, with live performances and outside, it's gonna be hard to get like a good mix of this, like. <laughs> mm -hmm. And who knows who they had doing the audio mixing if they were like uh, engineers that were familiar enough with metal. That's yeah, that's true too. But so, I will say the music came out really great. Still, like that was really awesome. For, yeah, because I have like, a feeling like balancing for each genre is a little different for vocals and music itself. Oh, yeah, um, I'm sure it is. So, uh, what did you give this but, one? But, yeah, like, musically, I really enjoyed this really heavy, really, or just really good overall. And then adding, you know, I know the opera singer wasn't part of the band, but having her in there, like, in the performance had a nice contrast with, you know, him being more extreme. Yep. So I like that. I really enjoyed this. I enjoyed the performance. It was really good. I'm, I'll give this 8.65 for the music and for, you know, from what I could hear from, like, the vocals with the opera singer and him and things like that. It would have been higher if I got a little more from him, but that's not his fault. <laughs> I'll give it 8.7 for the reasons you gave. I just really, really liked the music itself. It was nice and heavy and, you know, it's like perfect right, hey, right up my alley. Yep, really good. Uh, please check out links in the description for the video and all of our social media. And we just want to let you know that both our Patreon and PayPal are now open, so please just send us your requests, and the links will be down in the description. Until next time, bye! Bye!